Hello there, welcome to my channel. My name is Doug and I'm back with another fountain pen video. And thank you in advance for liking and subscribing. And don't forget to ring that bell to get instant notifications whenever a new video is posted. Today is the fourth and last in a series of fountain pen giveaways that I have been doing in celebration of reaching 5,000 subscribers. I must say I'm overwhelmed by the response last week's giveaway video received. I behaved like a total fool, and a lot of you really dug it. Get it? Dug it. Never mind. As I said to a commenter last week, it doesn't become an official dad joke until it's fully grown. Get it? Grown. Never mind. No more backwards caps. I'm returning to my trusty Indiana Jones fedora. And before we get to today's fountain pen giveaway, I want to let you know what I will be doing on Sundays through June instead of giving away fountain pens. I'm beginning a series of four videos I'm calling Professor Doug's Perfect Pen Pairings, or PPP for short. PPP 1 through 4 will be published every Sunday morning through June. I've put together 24 pen and ink combinations which I consider to be the perfect pen pairings. These will be elegant affairs, so I expect you to dress appropriately. No more lounging around and eating bagels and cream cheese in bed, watching Doug's pen videos. You want ants? That's how you get ants. There are donuts everywhere! Lana did that. Hey, do you want ants? Because that's how you get ants. No, 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 no. Doug's PPPs will be exclusive for the discerning fountain pen and ink connoisseurs among you, and will contain a mere soupçon of curated clever cutaways for the discerning taste. Of course, these will be my personal, previously private, perfect pen pairings, with which you may or may not agree. You are perfectly within your personal prerogative to politely poo-poo my personal pairings in preference of your own personal perfect pairings by participating in the post-public palaver with your own PP. And without that pledge pen! That being said, and rather properly put, I must say. Still a pretty good picture, I must say. Let's give away a fountain pen right now. And before we get into giving away one of these two Moonman M2s, let me show you some pen reviews that are in the works for the next few weeks. A couple of Hongdian fountain pens have arrived recently that look very interesting. This is the Hongdian 1841. I was drawn to its classic styling and terrific dark red color, but also because it has a resin section and sports a number six size steel nib. I'm looking forward to inking this one up. Looks like a beautiful fountain pen. I'm still toying with what ink to pair with this color. Any suggestions? All right, next suggestion. Next suggestion. Uh, do, 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 do. You need to do something about your BO. You need to do something about your BO. Okay. And this is the Hongdian 6016. It has a wooden barrel and a heavy metal cap and finial and even a metal section. I know what you're thinking. Why did I get this? Well, I was intrigued by how much it resembles the Moon Man P135, and by extension, the Mont Blanc Petit Prince. It also looks like the smaller version of the Moon Man M1000. So perhaps instead of being a doorstop, it might at least hold a screen door open. Sorry, Lois, half of being a godfather is closing the door in your wife's face while she wonders what's going on inside. But I just wanted to... I forgot it was a swinging door. Interesting, nonetheless. And here is a new model from Moon Man, or Mo Yang, whatever. It says Moon Man on it everywhere. This is the C3. This is a very interesting looking eyedropper, which can also be used with a converter. It looks like it'll take a ton of ink, but unfortunately it sports a number five size steel nib. I don't get these bigger pens with the smaller nibs, like the Twisby Draco.
think this pen would look much better with a number six size nib on it. But again, something to look forward to. And I've been writing with my new pen BBS 535 Year of the Aux Limited Edition. This pen is in the running for the most interesting and unique design from China in 2021. This very long and strangely shaped pen is actually very comfortable in the hand and uses the excellent improved 355 bulk filler design that pen BBS came up with last year. I like it more than I had actually expected. And here is a pen that I bought for Wynn. She is a professional writer and professionally produced playwright. She's currently working on getting her new novel published, so she is in and out of meetings with her editor and producer. And she uses this Pentel Carry mechanical pencil that her kids got her for Christmas all the time. Plus, she enjoys fountain pens. So I immediately thought of getting her a vanishing point, and, and that would be just be a perfect pen for her. And I found the perfect color to pair with her Pentel. And because she likes slimmer pens, I got her a decimo. I got this from Goulet Pens, and I'll review it next week. It's a medium, and she loves it. In addition to doing reviews and pen and ink pairings, I've been working on some new Ink Buddy design prototypes. Now I have three kinds of Ink Buddy cube caddies. The four pen caddy with a hole for a Robert Oster uh, ink bottle in the center. A six pen caddy for larger girth pens like my Momento Zero Grande. And a new nine pen version of the cube pen caddy. I also designed a prototype Ink Buddy ink scrooge for the three ounce Noodler's bottle of ink. It works perfectly the first time out. It sits inside the bottle and allows the cap to go on. And all you do when you're running low on ink is turn the bottle upside down and allow the ink scrooge to fill up the cup with ink and you end up with uh, your ink raised up to a level where you can get a pen in there and uh, and get the last remnants of your ink bottle. I'm following up on this one with ink scrooges sized for other ink bottle sizes. Which size would you most want? And you can see all the ink buddy stuff on my son's Etsy store called Allied Armorers and I'll put the link in the description. Okay now for the giveaway. I have two Moonman M2 eyedropper pens. Neither of them have stock nibs that came with the pens as I found both the fine and the extra fine number five size Moonman nibs uninspiring to say the least. So I picked up a couple of stub nibs that fit the collar and feed of the M2 from Bobby on eBay. The one on the left is a 0 0.7 and the one on the right is a 1.1. I can't decide which of these nibs I like better, so I'm going to let the lucky winner decide which one they want. You can see my original M2 review from February 2019 by going to the link in the description. I apologize in advance uh, for the primitive video review. I'd only been doing it for about a month at the time. What a noob. <laughs> So let's do a dipped nib writing sample from each of these M2s. I'll use the ink I originally inked these pens up with, a Roshizuku Yamabuto. I love this ink. First up, the 0.7 millimeter stub. It's actually very, very smooth. I haven't written with this nib in a long time. But I like this one because it is subtle in its in its line variation. And next, the 1.1 stub.
This one, of course, has much more line variation. This one also is very smooth. This one allows you to do a lot more flourishes with your writing. To win your choice of one of these two fountain pens, simply be a subscriber and leave a comment below within 72 hours of the posting of this video. That will be 7 a.m. Pacific, 10 a.m. Eastern, and 3 p.m. GMT on Wednesday, June 2nd. At that time, I will plug all of the comments into my Bambooini 57 sub meson brain, feed those results into an atomic vector plotter, give it a really strong cup of tea as a Brownian motion producer, and draw a winner. By simply hooking the logic circuits of a Bambolwini 57 submeson brain to an atomic vector plotter suspended in a strong Brownian motion producer, say a nice hot cup of tea, had long been understood. Multiple comments do not give you extra entries, but could start an interesting discussion. I, I can't help feeling, Doctor, that you're making a mistake not allowing the woman to talk. I, if she'd been around at all, she might have picked up some very interesting news items. And I'm sure you're making a mistake about all that beer and no whiskey, but it's your two weeks. I'll post the winner in a pinned comment on this video and on my community tab. If you're a subscriber, make sure you've enabled notifications by clicking on that little bell. You'll get a notification by email when I've posted the winner. If you are the lucky winner, you will have 72 hours in which to contact me at my email, shown right here with your name and address so I can ship you your prize. As always, I reserve the right to refuse to ship to places like Timbuktu. Mm, I knew I should have taken that left coin of Albuquerque. If I don't hear from the winner, I'll draw again and pick another Hoopy subscriber. And there you have it. If you like this video, please like and subscribe and don't forget to ring that bell to get instant notifications whenever new videos are posted. And that just leaves it for me to say, thank you for watching. And that's all she wrote. I made this.